Hi everyone, it's Kiri here with another layout for Bramble Fox and this month I'm using one of the new releases for August and it's this really lovely uh, title, Make Pretty Things with the cute little scissors. You can see that here um, and I've decided to use a dark background, black, um, coordinated with this Doodlebug Design Cute and Crafty collection. I couldn't couldn't resist. Um, it was perfect for everything that we as scrapbookers do. So I'm just pulling out some of the pattern papers and just deciding how I'm going to layer them up behind my two photos. So I've picked a couple of the papers, the rainbow stripe, and they're sort of like a splatter, rainbow splatter paper. Um, and now I'm just going to mount the two photos um, onto um, some of the coordinating papers. So I've sort of picked a uh, yellowy green, bluey check, um, gingham type or plaid, I suppose, for the bottom photo. And for the top photo, I'm doing the same, um, but it's in the... And I go, oh, no, not the yellow. It's the pinks and the sort of oranges. So that sort of coordinates with the top part of the rainbow stripe um, background layer that I'm using. So that's what I'm going to use there. And then I'm sort of just positioning. I'm going to, the title is going to sit to the right um, just of my photos there. I'm looking here because I've decided I feel like I need another layer just to add in. And I'm pulling a couple out just to try. Um, there's a sort of a pretty light soft aqua. And then there's this sort of really like ditzy floral and I'm going to stick with the floral and that's going to sit in between the splattered layer and the rainbow stripe so I'm just working out what that's going to look like here so just playing around getting it right working out my photos and I'm pretty happy with how this is looking though so I'm and then I just start to bring in some of the the ephemera. Now Doodlebug, for those of you who don't know, is very cute um, and um, the ephemera is no exception. They're sort of all little fabulous little sort of crafty pieces certainly for this collection that are perfect. I mean there's a paint box, there's a pot of pencils and scissors, there's a camera, there's all sorts of things, there's scrapbook papers, you name it, there's everything in the ephemera in this collection. So I'm just sort of layering those, working out really where everything is going to go at this point in time. So um, just adding the two little pink um, perspective, the scissors there. There's the scrapbook papers. Papers. I'm going to layer them in behind and then I'm adding those two like their button banners. Um, so adding one there at the bottom and then just one in the top top left corner and then I'm bringing in some of the little um, sayings the banners there and pulling and going to sit those below and then I'm adding a few more smaller um, pieces in here some little hearts and there's some really little cute sayings there one that says let's craft at the top left and the bottom one on the right there that says good times and then the other one's just got a little pink heart in it those little speech bubbles there so I'm just sort of moving things around sort of figuring out where everything's going to go and then once I'm happy with all of that I can start to um, get it stuck down so that's looking pretty good um, I'm going to move all that away and start to um, do something with the background because I want to add, oh no, here we go, I'm actually going to distress the edges, of course I am. Um, yeah, love a bit of distressing. Again, when they, I layer up pieces, I do like to create um, a bit of a difference between the different layers and the distressing is perfect for that. So I'm just going around with my um, distressing tool to do that with those um, three paper layers there. So happy with that. Just getting rid of all the little bits, the paper bits. And yeah, that's looking okay. So now I'm moving everything off, getting rid of all the bits, and I'm going to add some white splatters to my background. And I'm going to use this Liquitex uh, white acrylic paint pen. It's just perfect for adding splatters straight off out of the, um, the sort of tube. So using those all over, roughly in the position of where everything's going to really sit underneath it because I just want a little pop of splatters behind so it's not a completely flat black background. Okay, so it's all dry and I'm now going to start to 
get everything stuck down. So just positioning the papers, bringing out my trusty T-square ruler to get it right. I am a bit of a perfectionist, so I do like the lines to be to be straight. So the first two papers I'm layering straight down uh, flat to the background. And then again, just making sure that's all straight, just lifting the edges as I go. And then for the rainbow stripe one, I'm actually going to uh, mount this with some sticky backed foam. So I get again a, a layer with dimension here. So I'm just going to get that one stuck down. And then once I've done that, happy, just moving that slightly, happy with that. And then I can start to add all the other, the elements. Okay, just ruffling up those edges as well. Right, okay, what have we done now? Okay, photos are stuck down and I've just added that little row of hearts um, in between the two photos there. So now I'm just bringing back in the ephemera and just deciding where it's all going to sit. Now at this point, the ephemera, I did actually fussy cut um, off some of the wider white edges. I Sometimes the ephemera, I'm sure you'll have seen, sometimes the ephemera, comes with quite a wide white edge and I tend to, I don't really like it. So I do fussy cut it around that and get rid of that. So I've done that here. Um, just positioning everything back again and then I will start to stick everything down. So we'll get the title, Make Pretty Things, that lovely pale pink perspective and we'll get that stuck down with, I like to use glossy accents because it gives a really firm bond. So get that on. And everything else is now stuck down. I didn't let you sit through watching me do that because it takes a little while. Just finishing off with the last last bits and pieces here. So those two uh, scissors, the perspectives there, just popping those on the top. Again, using the glossy accents. And then it's just a matter of working out what is left. I think, oh, here we go. My banner is at the bottom. So, um, the top one, Live, Love and Create, I'm just sticking down straight to the black cardstock. And then this middle one, Making Memories, I'm just going to add some sticky back foam and um, again, create a little bit of a dimension here. And then for the last one, Craftiness is Happiness, I am going to stick that down flat as well to the background. I only split put some of the double-sided tape to the middle of the banner because I want the edges where the, the banner edges to sort of lift up so I do just bend them up slightly. Right, just going round and working out what is left to stick down. I think it looks like some of the little speech bubbles, that one with the little pink heart. Um, okay, and those two little hearts down the bottom there. So stick that rainbow heart down first and then I'm going to add the small little heart over it, adding some foam to create some dimension there. So I get my foam, I just get sheets of A4 um, sticky back foam and then I can cut it to whatever size I want which I love. Um, it works perfectly. Okay, just trimming off the excess that overhangs the edges and then I've got that journaling piece at the side and it says happy thoughts at the top. I'm going to just add my journaling here. Um, I had, um, we had a Zoom call with all of the design team for Go Go Getaway, which was really fun. It was lovely to catch up. It's been, it had been so long, we obviously hadn't been able to get together in person. So it was one of those times where we were catching up. Um, over Zoom. So just documenting that. Um, I'm just adding some foam tape down the one side because it's sitting up um, over some of the layers. Um, I just wanted to add that so it was more, more straight rather than it would sit sort of slightly wonky. And that is me done. I did add a couple of a little, some of the uh, matching enamel dots around the layout. Here's some close-ups. You can see the cute scissors. Um, there's another one. There's the scissors there as well. Um, perfect to go with the craftiness of this layout. And finally, that fab title, Make Pretty Things. And um, that's me done. Thanks very much for watching. It's Kiri designing for Bramble Fox. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, everyone.